So you show up at the doors, little faith, um, you know, and and probably curious as to what you're doing in New York and just trying to appease your mother. What was that initial visit like when you come in through the doors and you start talking about your case and your, I don't know who you met with here, but what was it like your first time visiting the center? So I saw Dr. Schultz on my first day um, and he's just very, um, he feels very warm and very intuitive. And um, just somebody you kind of want to like sit down and have a cup of coffee with. And, you know, he, he just kind of like validated my feelings, right? I've gone this whole time and I've had doctor after doctor tell me, you're really not sick. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. And he, he can look at me and he's like, you are very, very sick. Hmm. And I'm like, okay, step one, complete someone here. He actually believes me, right? He's not just going to give me a pill and send me out the door like every other doctor I've come into contact with. So like that first initial meeting with him and, you know, I'm not sure what his conversations are like with other patients, but he straight up told me, he's like, I cannot do the work for you. He's like, I will give you the tools and I will give you the playbook, right? I'm a big sports girl. So like the sports Mm -hmm. metaphor totally worked for me. He's like, I will be your coach and I will give you the place. He's like, but you are the player and you have to, to make it work for you in your life. So I was like, okay, like I'm in for the pump it up talk. Like let's get after it then, you know? Um, and then I came in contact with Aaron and she is phenomenal and Caitlin. And at the time, Barbara was, was at the center. So those three, you know, like I owe like, like an ridiculous amount of debt to them. Like, I'm so grateful for all three of those women. They absolutely saved my life. And I, I definitely would not be here without them. They definitely could identify when I was having a rough day. I'm not very good. I come from like a non-complaining family, which I think has also contributed to how far this got without like actually getting a real answer, um, which is why I'm such an advocate for everyone in my life to have, you know, your, your own best health advocate at this point. Um, But those ladies, they were so great at being able to identify like, how are you? And I'm, my standard response for the last five, six, seven years. Oh, I'm okay. Like I'm doing okay. I'm fine. But I, you know, whether I was actually fine or not. And they're like, no, really? Like you don't look good today. Like what's going on. So them continuously prodding me, prodding me, prodding me, which was annoying at the time was like so unbelievably helpful. And I'm just like, so grateful that they were able to see me every day and know my patterns and know what I should look like. And when I didn't look like that, to be able to move me, you know, into like a a better treatment. Well, why don't you try adding this to your diet or why don't we put you on this or let's see if you need to be balanced and making sure that I was where I needed to be at all times throughout treatment. So you got the pep talk from my father. He he does that. Well, he he wants to be sure like, Hey, I'm coach, you're athlete, Mm -hmm. which I agree. When we see athletes here, they're probably the best patients or people with a sports mindset or even competitiveness uh, because they realize it's like, I got to get this done. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to listen to everything. And then you get probably very shortly after the, the program of treatment, right? which outlines, you know, everything from your supplements to uh, your therapies. And there could be a lot. It could be overwhelming. How did you feel when you saw that and were kind of explained, here is your program of treatment? I think after I saw the program, it also validated like how sick I was. Mm. (laughs) Because, you know, other doctors are like, you know, here's a pill, like no big deal. But Dr. Schultz is like, no, you need to be here every day for the next like five to six weeks. And it's like, okay, like, this feels serious. Um, it didn't feel overwhelming just because it's like, I'm, I felt like I'm pretty decent at taking things one step at a time. Like I know my whole life isn't going to change tomorrow and just trying to put that in perspective that it's just, okay, we go next day, next day, next day. And they broke it down into three different types, right? Like you've got like a detox section and it's like, okay, I would just focus on the detox section. I'm not focusing on the other three, the other two. So it's like I had two full weeks of detox and I would count it down. I'm like, okay, well, we're 10% done. We're 20% done and and so on and so forth. And so that made that simple. Um, The antimicrobial treatments, those were not fun, but they were kind of spaced out further. So, you know, that section worked out for me. And then the rejuvenation section, which was the final week, like that was like a breeze week compared to the, the past like four to five weeks. So it 
it wasn't like so daunting that I couldn't handle it. It was just making sure I broke it down into what felt like enough sections to make it manageable. And my mom was also really great. She came up with me for treatment. I definitely could not have done this alone. There's no way I had enough strength or energy to be able to go grocery shopping and making sure I'm cooking myself three different meals every day and not eating leftovers. And, you know, make, she's like micromanaging my meds, you know, she's like, we're going to eat in 45 minutes. Like you need to take your pre-food meds. You know, we're going to, we're going to have this for dinner. We're going to have this for lunch. So I felt having that support system, you know, was invaluable. There's no way I could have done it without that. Yeah. I, I know that patients that come here with the support of their families get better quicker and see better results in the long term, as opposed to patients that may come here alone, may have family members that doubt what they're doing, right? And are almost skeptical of them coming here and thinking they're wasting yep. their money and putting that in their head. That becomes a real uphill battle for those patients. So it's amazing you had that support system. And I mean, it was your mom who set this up. So I'm sure she wanted yep. everything to go as great as possible for you.